guys, what's up? It's Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, do not forget to hit that subscribe button because I have videos coming up. I'm so excited for this video. I honestly wasn't even planning on doing one this year because I wasn't planning on fully like going full out on Black Friday shopping, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to film it. I think I did one last year, I believe too. I don't know about the year before, but I love these videos and I love watching these videos. It's so cool to see all the good deals of Black Friday and see what everyone found. So I'm going to be showing you guys what deals I found and everything I got. So let's just get right on into it in this video. Okay, first we'll start out with Urban because that's probably my favorite store. I love Urban Outfitters. They always have buy one, get one half off on Black Friday, which isn't honestly like the craziest deal, but it'll do. It was still kind of expensive just because Urban is expensive, but it's better than just buying regular stuff from them because they never usually even have sales. The first thing I got is jeans. I have a few jeans from Urban, but I've never had like just a good pair that fits good and they end up fitting so good. So they're just high rise baggy jeans. They have a rip down the knee and they're like longer style. They're just so cute. And in the back, they have a little rip right here. I'm obsessed with them. I got a size 26. They're called the high rise baggy, they're the BDG. They look just like the Zara ones that everyone's been like freaking out about. Next is this little crew neck. I was actually wanting this for so long. I, I always wanted the t-shirt one, but I saw the crew neck today. And I'm like, it's getting colder out. So I'm definitely gonna get the crew neck. It's just a oversized crew neck. I got the large slash extra large because I like having like oversized stuff, but it's just a gray one with the skeletons on it. I thought it was super cute. So I got one and then got half off. And then I also just got a tank from them. It's like one of these ones. It is pretty low. But I thought it would be just so cute with some like boyfriend jeans or something. I don't know. I saw it and I was like, I've seen this all over like TikTok and Instagram. So many people have this top. And I was like, it's just so like flattering. So I wanted to get that. Next is pink. Yes, they gave me a huge bag. And all I got from there was underwear. I'm not going to show you guys details. But they literally only had five for 30, which they usually have. So they didn't really have that good of deals. But I needed underwear. I didn't need it, but like I wanted some. So I was like, I'll just get it. I mean, I'm out shopping, might as well. Next is Dick's Sporting Goods. So they were having 25% off. And I've had my pink Hydro Flask for probably like six months now. But I put stickers all over it. And when I took the stickers off, it like ruined the color of the paint. So I went to get a new one. It's kind of just like a light purple it's like kind of like a light violet color and then i got the straw lid because i can i hate using these lids so i got this it's more like a simple color because my pink one was just so bright and like i carry my hydro flask wherever i go so i wanted a little more of a neutral color and i've been wanting this purple one for a while so got that and it was 25 percent off next is airy airy was having 40 percent off which is pretty good actually no 50 percent off well some stuff was 50 some stuff was 40 like all their sweatshirts and crew necks and stuff was 50 percent off so i just got this simple gray like turtleneck half zip i got it in a bigger size just for like lounging around you can make it more stylish and stuff i just thought it was cute so i got that and then if you know me you know i love flannels and their flannels were 40 percent off so i got a size large to make it oversized i don't have any flannels in this color so i thought it was just a cute just like a neutral color next is ulta so i love ulta i actually have not been in so long like it's been months since I've been older, so I definitely wanted to go to there. And they were having some sales. So the first thing I got, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. It actually wasn't even on sale, but I really needed it. I got it in the shade Light Medium Honey. I've never gotten that shade, and I really wanted to try it. So I got that. And then I also got this Morphe, um, like, liquid cheek stuff, like blush. But you could also use it on your lips, it says, too. It's actually... Charlie, it's part of Charlie and Dixie's line with Morphe. So I've seen them post about it. So I was like, I'm gonna try that. And then I got the KKW Beauty Cream Lipstick. So Kim Kardashian's lipstick in the shade Candy Apple Red. If you have seen me lately, I've been obsessed with lip color. I'm, I'm never usually a lip color person. I just feel like it makes you look so much more like put together. It's cute. So I wanted to try out her red lip color so that is what i got from ulta i also went to madewell they have such cute jewelry i've actually only gone on the website never been to their actual store they were having 40 percent off and you know me i literally am obsessed with gold jewelry that's all i wear so i picked up a cute pair of these little gold hoops they were literally 40 percent off but they're just so cute and simple and then i got this little gold ring as well 
is so cute. That's all I got from Madewell was just a few pieces of jewelry. Cause I was like, you know what? I'm getting all these clothes. I need some jewelry. I need other stuff. I don't want to just keep getting clothes. So I was like, gotta spice it up. And you can never go wrong with jewelry because I wear jewelry every day. This is Bath and Body Works. So this was the longest line possible. Oh my gosh, there were so many lines. But for Bath and Body Works was for sure the longest line. They were having buy three, get three free. And I literally low-key screwed myself over because I just was not thinking. It was just so claustrophobic. I was like getting stressed out. Anxiety was kicking in. So I was just like, okay, I'm just going to pick up three candles and then pick up like three just smaller things. I don't need six candles. And I literally just screwed myself over. You'll see. So what I got was two bigger candles. It just says ho ho ho. The flavor is twisted peppermint. I love peppermint flavor. And then I got spiced gingerbread. This is just like a cute one. It's just gold with some gingerbreads on it. And then I got Tis the Season, just a basic little small one. I just like some simple candles as well. And then I got a frosted cranberry soap to put in the kitchen to add some festive out there. And then one of these plugs with the Christmas tree and a scent to it. It's a Christmas scent. And the way I screwed myself over was I picked out three candles and three really cheap things. So I basically paid all the money for all these candles and then got all the cheap stuff for free. Instead of just getting like six candles, do you really get your money's worth? But it's fine. I'm just going to try and forget about it when I spent way too much money there when I thought I was going to be getting a really good deal. But I'm just not going to talk about that. Okay, next is... I ended up going on TJ Maxx because it was right by Bath and Body Works. You know, TJ Maxx doesn't have sales. I literally happened to find something that you would totally see at like Urban or like PacSun or something. Look how cute this is. It's a champion like mock neck and mock necks are really in. So are crew necks. But it's more like a mock neck. It is just so cute. I got it in a size large. But like, I feel like this would be so cute with just like biker shorts or something. It was only $19.99. If this was at Urban, it would literally be like $70. So I was like, I'm going to get this. Even if TJ Maxx doesn't have like Black Friday sales, I was like, this is still a sale to me because that's really cheap for a champion like mock neck or crew. Next is Kohl's. So I know people are probably thinking like Kohl's really, but like me and my boyfriend, we've been going there on Black Friday for like three years now and they have such good deals on like Nike and Champion and stuff like that. Like, like things you probably wouldn't even think Kohl's would have, but they do and I found such good stuff. So first thing, I'm an auntie now, if you didn't know. So I got my niece this cute little Christmas pajamas. They were literally only $6. So I was like, I'm going to get that. She will be so cute in that. I got a Philips Sonicare toothbrush. It was on sale for $20. Originally, like $60 or $70, which is a good deal. And I usually just use normal toothbrushes, but I wanted to try out like a special one. Next is this ornament I saw. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. It says, you left paw prints on my heart, if you didn't know. We just lost our cat Milo. So I feel like this ornament was just like meant to be it because it says you left fall prints on my heart in 2020. And that's just so true. On to the really good stuff, of course. This look amazing. I've been looking for Nike crewnecks for so long and at Urban and everywhere else, they're so expensive. Urban was actually sold out of Nike crewnecks. So anyways, it didn't even really work out anyway. But if we were to go online or anything, they'd be like, 60 70 dollars these were 30 dollars each so i got red and white got a red nike crew neck i feel like this would be so cute with just biker shorts leggings or even little skater skirt i feel like that's just a vibe i see so many girls like spice up nike crew necks and i'm like i really want to try that out it's just so cute i love the whole trend style whatever's going on about those nike crew necks so i was like you know what can't beat 30 dollars for a nike crew neck the rest of the stuff is just camera stuff, so I'm just going to leave that in there. But yes, this was my Black Friday haul 2020. Like I said, I wasn't even planning on making this video because I actually went out Black Friday shopping for one thing. And it was to get a Apple Watch, but they were sold out everywhere. So I was like, you know what? I'll just ask for it for Christmas. So, or just buy myself it sometime from now into Christmas and stuff. So I was like, you know what? I'll just buy myself so the clothes and just get good stuff because I literally have not gone shopping for myself in like so long. So I did some damage, but it's okay. I had fun and I really wanted some new clothes just to pick out some new clothes and some goodies. 
so yes i hope you guys enjoyed this black friday haul i probably will make one next year i guess i'll just make it a tradition so yes i hope you guys had a good thanksgiving and a good black friday and i will see you guys in the next video love y'all